You see, King Abimelech went to make peace with Isaac. Because thou art mightier than us. And we have seen that God is with you. Please don't overrun us. A, a land where individuals will be feared by nations. And that's where God is bringing his people to. So we are not near where we are going. We are just beginning on the journey. Now, the important thing is to now find out what is it that entitles me to this level of empowerment. Glory to God. Thou shalt remember the Lord that God for it is that given the power to get wealth on the basis of his covenant. Not your ideology. On the basis of his covenant. The kind of word that turns into a dread to nations. It's coming your way. <laughs> Just to be able to grab what it is. The blessedness of the voice of the Lord is that it empowers you to go into motion. It sets you on your feet. That's the difference. From the day he defined the covenant to me, I've never needed any encouragement, neither can I be discouraged. I value the voice. My son, David, that's how he calls me. My prosperity plan is not a promise, so it does not answer to prayers, in case you're a prayer warrior. <laughs> My prosperity plan is not a promise. It has no respect for fasting. My prosperity plan is a promise. I mean, it's a covenant. And until your part is played, I am not committed. You can't confuse me. Click God. If you read that statement anywhere else under the sun, it's copied. I had it direct from God, not from any book, not from any tape. But what I say to one, I say to all. May you hear it. It was a product of a three-day search. Three-day search in prayer and fasting and searching. Show me the secret of kingdom prosperity. March 22nd, 1982. Ashongai. Man. So, you better grab the terms of the covenant. If you want to change your position. If you want to be a partaker of this prosperity agenda of the end time church. My God. The end time church is ordained a super wealthy church. You know why? Jesus will not return until the church is reigning. And the rich rules over the poor. It takes economic power to reign in this literal world. It means God is out to empower. Power is people economically so they can take on nations. Can I hear you, amen? Yeah. You won't miss your place in it. Yeah. You won't miss your place in it. Yeah. You will not miss your place in it. Yeah. You will not miss your place in it. Yeah. You will not miss your place in it. Yeah. Many will soon, soon become a mystery to their generation. I know the South Center has what it takes to unravel a mystery. You have to come to us to get that. It's only in church. There is no medical research that can get out the devil oppressing anybody's health. No. Only Jesus. You are going somewhere. It is a land where we will lay up gold as dust. Amen. And this gold of offer as the stones of the brook. Amen. And the Lord will defend us against the wickedness of the wicked. 
He said, the Lord shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. Now, let's go. What is that law that forms the anchor of this covenant? He said, acquaint now thyself with God, and then you'll be at peace. Thereby shall good come unto you. Receive, I pray thee the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you shall be built up. You shall put iniquity. It doesn't require games. And you don't need games. You don't get blessed by being crooked. No. You get judged. You don't play games. You don't change books. You don't cheat on your people. You, you don't cheat your business partner out of business. That's not his prosperity. Amen. What is the law? God said. Why the earth remain? Seed time and harvest. And day and night and summer and winter and cold and heat shall not cease. God's abundance agenda responds to seed sown. We are told that but please understand that our level of understanding of what we do is what determines the outcome. In Matthew 13 verse 23 in the parable of the sower Jesus was interpreting it and he said but that which I mean, he that received this seed into good ground is he that he added the word and understanded it, which also brought or bearded fruit and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. Now, they are all good ground. The only variable in that statement is understanding. So, the word delivers in our lives to the level of our spiritual understanding of it. The word delivers to the level of our spiritual understanding of it. This has been grossly abused, but let me show you what it is. We all know God is Jehovah Jireh. So we never need any mortal man's support to be God. The thousand rams upon the thousand his their his. If you were hungry, we really have asked any of us who are not qualified to be consulted. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, said the Lord. So we don't have a beggarly for God. We don't have, people present God in a very shabby manner. We don't serve a beggarly God, sir. <laughs> the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. The world are not adored their name. Of his fullness, have we all received whatever we have? Of his fullness, have we all received? Of his fullness, have we all... Thou satisfied the desire of every living thing. That's the God you serve. So we can't satisfy his agenda. We absolutely unqualified. But people will tell you that God needs you, God is a lie. Sir. I have proved them, found them so. It's up to anything is how to deliver. I had an encounter while searching, while in prayer, and the Lord said to me from Psalm 34 and verse 5, my son, you have two eyes. I said, yes, sir. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? <laughs> I tried, it didn't work. Anytime you are looking onto man, never claim to be looking onto me. But if you fix your eyes on me, you'll never be ashamed. So I can say like Paul the Apostle today, I know no man after the flesh. As for the things God is doing by his hand in this place. 